Yep. I got lucky. <laughs> I got lucky though. The one time on this disc job, I forgot to set an alarm. But I woke up 10 minutes before when my alarm was going to go off. I'm like, oh, that's good. Got to turn my alarm off. I'm like, oh. Whoops. I got lucky. Yeah, I feel like everyone gets one. And if you make a habit of it, that's not that's not cool. This like white thing? That's weird. Looks like a both rope and an animal at the same time. I think it was an anemone. Oh yeah. But all, but all closed up. But the ones we've been seeing are like a lot fatter than that. Hey, what do you feel? How do you feel about doing a uh, heading change right now? And then we can see. We know our line is straight, so we can see what the heading offset is. Oh sure. Just do 180. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, the ship's happy in this direction, but we yeah. want to face the other way. Yeah, we want to face the other way for the escape. Mm -hmm. Bridge now. <laughs> Ooh. Takes time. I don't want him to move. <laughs> Could you do me a favor and just zoom out so I can see the ship here, please? Just in case he does decide to run off. Santa, don't trust him. So these little holes are like wormholes? Yeah, there's a bunch of critters that make burrows. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, there's a bunch of different animals that live down in there. Wormholes to another dimension. Yeah, so <laughs> many wormholes. So there's polychaetes that make these holes. There are the acorn worms. No, no, not there. The peanut worms make the holes. Um, yeah, lots of lots of things that like to live in holes. It's hard to know exactly what lives in the holes because we don't get to see them. Right. Um, but if you do do like box pouring and stuff, then you do get to sample some of these animals. But some of these burrows are extremely deep, mm -hmm. so you don't always get to see them even with coring. <laughs> and not all the holes are occupied. Some of them are old holes. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, this is a benthic tinafore. That's cool. Is that the white spiky squishy? Oh, that was... The white spiky squishy was a sea pen, but oh, then there was a pink squishy squishy. <laughs> squishy squishy. Yeah, it was like extra squishy. <laughs> it was a benthic tinafore. It was like living on one of these little discarded tubes. Is he doing heading already? Um, I don't think he's... He's not changing. Yeah, he is. Oh, is he changing is he? his head? Oh, I wanted you to change your heading now. Now. Yeah. Looked like he's already on the way there. Oh, no, it just kind of... Is that just from the stop? Yeah, it's from the stop. <laughs> Next question is, which way is the boat going to go? Shouldn't move. Well, I hope it does. 180. Yeah. Just I mean, uh, which direction is he going to turn? Oh, I yeah. Left or right? A, I ask from a wraps perspective. Yeah. I got a you full wrap in mind. In. So.
Yeah, Trevor, which side do you want to turn? Oh man, I'm getting the choice. Yeah. <laughs> you can turn you can turn to port. Yeah. It doesn't matter. If it's Yeah. To port is better. Feel free yeah. to turn to port. Port sounds good. We Thank love you. port. Wonderful. <laughs> that saves me about forty eight seconds of work later. So <laughs> Great. Perfect. We don't want you to have to work too hard. No, no. I'm, I'm flat out here. <laughs> Look at this red thing. What is that? Yeah, that is weird. I haven't seen anything that looks like that. that How do you? What do you do in video uh, review when you see something like that and don't know what it is? I usually ignore it. <laughs> if I can't identify it to phylum, then it gets ignored. Roger. Unless it's like obviously an animal and it's unique, I just don't know what it is, then it gets an identification of animalia other. Mm, right. It's like, I know it's an animal, but if I'm like, I'm not even sure if it's alive. <laughs> right. <laughs> is that useful data? Yeah, yeah, because sometimes people can go back and, and Someone know might what know what it is. is. Yeah, I know what it is. Right. Yeah. Like, you know that blue purple orb thing that you guys found a couple years back. Yeah. Yeah, no one knew what that was. But eventually oh, we got an ID yeah. for it. I'm just getting pulled. Uh, yeah, I'm going to come to a stop. So that stayed as Animalia drifting. Other for a while. <laughs> Roger. Cool. Is there a way to make the uh, USBL trails last longer? Just want to see after this um, whole ship moves how it adjusts our position. I don't. I know I can do it in high pack, but I don't. I know guess if, if I we have it in high pack, that should be okay. Thank you. We can get our offsets. I'll just drive around, just follow him around in that little arc. Oh, it's got set max length of 50. Let's make it max length of 500. Nice. 6,000. That didn't do anything. All right, great. Cool. I like that, the old settings aren't real thing. Yep, settings aren't real. Not a bad little arc at all, actually. Say again? That's not a bad little arc at all. It's a great arc. Yeah. All it's on the beautiful. stern, yeah. Yeah. Which one's the USBL pings? The, the white or the yellow? 
these blues are the USBL. Well, that looks whitish to me. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. The, the white ones then. Yeah, okay, because the USBL has stopped pinging into the vehicle. Yeah, your green is your DVL. Your yeah. Green trail. And the blue pings are the USBLs. So the USBL is going to change as we move the ship. Sure. So let's not do a reset so that we can see the... Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, how much it offsets. How much it offsets. Oh, there it comes. Let's see it. Wow. What time are we allowed to pop this morning, AJ? Four? Well, we want the subs on deck at 6.30, so yeah, I think four is kind of our morning pop time, but I don't think we'll make it. I don't think we'll make it, no. Um, okay, so basically any time. You're okay with it coming up in the night? Yeah, I think we'll start to get daylight, and as we saw yesterday, it's not going to go very far. It'll be pretty visible, and we should get USBL hits even while it's at the surface, so long as we're within, I don't know, 400 meters of it. So, Roger, sounds like we will pop as soon as we can. Yeah. Yeah, the beacon's already on it, right? Um, not sure. Ah, okay. Not sure. We'll see when we get there. Dirk told me. I just forget. Roger. Well, we got to have a look at the box and see if it's there. They what? They did unplug yeah. it, so a great idea. they might have put it on. Cameras changing. Beacon is not on the platform. That looks beacon like the beacon, beacon carabiner. Yep. This is why you can never trust Dirk. No, he probably told me that it wasn't on there. <laughs> but he did say it was ready to cut. Uh, he did not say it was ready to cut. He did to us, didn't he? Oh, I think he said it conversationally. I think he asked if we were ready to cut it. Okay. He right. said, you ready to cut the mooring? Maybe we let him off with that one then. <laughs> I think we will have to sort of clear those hanging oilies. Uh, they're just going to be dangling, so... We're going to want to get him out of the brow. Oilies, Roger. Dangle oily. So it looks like with this ship heading, the USBL is farther south. Isn't that a crazy, Randy was talking to me about that crazy feature in high pack. you're like, oh, I, yeah. want, I want more USBL trails. I want to change it from 30 seconds to 300 seconds. Like, okay, let's start fresh. Erase everything that's old. Uh, no, what? no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I want to keep those too. It's like, so what? I just want it to last longer. Don't make it go away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. The people that design these nav softwares have never been to sea or something. Yeah, probably. I mean, I believe it. <clears throat> so this is interesting. The ship has changed heading by, I don't know, 120 degrees or so already. I have not. Atlanta has not changed heading. And the 6-8 wraps are the same number. Have you still got your auto head in? Yeah. Well, it won't change heading, will it? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, heading but the, is the wraps same. haven't changed. The wraps haven't the wraps changed. Haven't changed. Yeah, it's like they don't take into still... account ship heading. Very possible. Oh, that seems it like... Wouldn't. Yeah, it won't. It should. We pipe ships heading into it. Oh, that's sparkly. We, uh... Whoa. Looks cool. That is really cool. That's cool. Does the huh? Does the wrap scanner not take into account ship heading? It shouldn't. It, it sh absolutely well, it should. should. But it it has historically. Like it does.
Is it July 14? Yeah. It is. Yep. He comes in right. I'm going to keep me all away for uh, too. Ooh, it used to come in right here. Hmm. Curious. I mean, definitely does not. The weird thing is, it's followed, it looks like it's followed me all the way around. Right? What has? It's still got, if you look at that view, mm -hmm. it's still got me like this. I've come right round. Yeah, you had a half wrap. Right? Tether no, at a half. Look at, look at it visually. Yeah. Right. right now we should have zero wraps. I've come round a, a full 180 degrees. Yep. And it's still looking at me. Mm -hmm. Same as it was here. And it's right. Yeah. So I we were out. You were out in front of me like this, and you've come around. You're actually over to the starboard side of it, and then you kind of came around like this. So is that the front of the vehicle I see there? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And now your wraps are zeroed because your wraps are obviously Herc versus Atalanta. Yeah. But Atalantas are nothing. Atalanta yeah. versus the world. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's cool. Neat. Bug report. File a bug report. Great, that means we have no idea how many wraps are in the 6 8. That's fine, everything's fine. Yeah. Okay, I think we can start uh, shifting the ship south, south, east, whatever. Okay, to this uh, connector straw one. Alright, I'm gonna come all the that way sounds back good. around. Yeah. Okay. Come back the same way. Sounds good, yeah. Bridge now. Can we move the ship a hundred and forty meters one three zero? Uh That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. We can just uh, move backwards. Just move backwards a uh, hundred meters. That'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Can we confirm what are we looking at there? Connector straw one. Yeah, connector straw one. What is that? That's like where we left that connector that we wanted to collect. That's not the connector. That's <laughs> not the one. So. No. No. Okay. Well, that's just gonna get us. That'll get us closer, yeah. Close yeah. to the middle of where all the things are. Yeah. And getting eyes on it is not the worst idea. Um, the cable goes between straw one and straw two. That's the one we're connecting. Or uh, collect collecting, correct? correct? Yeah. So that connector should be near the base of straw two, the X base of straw two, and currently near the active straw one, right? Yep. It's a little yellow line on high pack. Yeah. Okay. Do you see that, Megan? It's this guy. Oh, okay. This this, this one right that, here. That's our cable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that'll get us moving in the right direction. Absolutely, yeah. So, I wake up to no alarm. First sign, bad. Turn over, phone's dead. Okay, oh. that's mm. not good. That's not good. That was, I, I took that risk. I went to sleep with 20%. My fault. 20%, it's dead? 
You don't You're charge not even it in your doing bunk? Anything. Are you downloading okay, movies I, all night? I know. Too many like questions. One, one at a time, no, let's get a lot of questions all How does it die at 20% when you're not using it? Uh, I had the light on to read, but for a very short amount of time, I was very Mining tired. Bitcoin. I was, with the light on? I think it was only like 15, probably when I actually fell asleep. No, I didn't fall oh, asleep. The, the story light. changes. I'm very confused by your phone. But yeah, go on. I don't know what to tell you. The <laughs> last, like, it's good until 15 to 10 percent, and then for some reason that just means nothing. Okay. So, then I roll out of bed, knowing I'm probably late, but not 100 percent sure yet. So I'm still praying that it's not 3 a.m. yet. And I open my laptop, and it says 3:21. Oh. And then I'm like, all right, well, I'm so late now. I as well just. Fall back asleep. <laughs> Does it make you feel better that we didn't notice? Oh! <laughs> <Ouch>. <laughs> oh Man, how are you going to recover from that? Productivity actually went up. I'm just going to say yes. <laughs> yes. That productivity is was up. Morale hilarious. was up. Morale was up. <laughs> <laughs> it seems lighter in here. Did you notice anything? Productivity was up, yeah. <laughs> We've already actually finished the Barkley dive objectives. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the my favorite part of the story was when I finally wandered up the stairs to the second, I don't know what the deck's called, to the next deck, and I see AJ at the other end of the hallway, <laughs> clearly <laughs> searching the entire oh. ship. <laughs> what, what we got there? Yeah, I was lost. I had no idea I where know. we were. <laughs> oh. Seven meters I don't know how those how those downstairs. Seven meters out. <laughs> yeah. Well, they we have. Live. <laughs> well, I very much appreciate you coming to try. It's like me. it's like below deck down there. The like reality <laughs> TV show. Yeah. No idea. Nobody knows. They're like deck uh, seventy eight nine B. They're like uh. Yeah. Seven, <laughs> we have seventy eight bunks on this plane. How many stairs do I gotta go down? Yeah, down? that's great. Do you have to take a ladder into yeah. the hold? Is there an elevator? <laughs> is there an elevator? <laughs> I mean, there is a ladder into a hole on yeah. deck. Yeah. And that's how you get into the the bathroom downstairs. That's <laughs> you get into Josh's room? It's our, it's our emergency exit. Yeah. That's how you spy on me in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Hot tip. <laughs> Who's your roommate? Mr. Justin himself. Mm. Oh. Mr. I get eight hours of sleep every night. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some of us have fours and then eight yeah, and I then fours. <laughs> Josh was determined to also get eight hours of sleep last night. <laughs> <laughs> I got nine, baby. Have you charged your phone yet? It's charging right now, but I'm afraid. Oh, it's charging right now, but I'm afraid to turn it on. You should be. <laughs> <laughs> well, stop for a bit. Just let okay. things catch up. Any targets in sonar? We had one. Kind of vanished. One, but yeah, we, we Crab. just ignored it. <laughs> Always a good practice. Yeah. Yeah. DVL is offset by what? 50 meters? What? I don't believe that. I do. That's because yeah, of the I heading do. change. Yeah, 50 meters though. That's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it was 45 yesterday. That's what we were oh, really? yesterday. Oh, really? 45? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we're probably quite a ways north of what's in high pack. Is that? Uh, I bet we're. We're well, going to be pretty spot on. When we set the Straw 1 mooring, sorry, the Straw 1 waypoint that is dropped there. Was that dropped today, or was that dropped another day? Uh, that was dropped, well, to, 
this mm -hmm. yesterday morning or today. Yesterday evening, this yesterday dive, I should say. This dive. Yeah. The connector straw one, the straw one ship one two two. That was all taken on dirt shift. And do we have any any idea at all what the ship's heading was? Yeah, one two two. The ship's heading was one two two. Uh, that's my guess. My guess is that whoever was navigator then started to put the ship's heading in. That's why it says IP ship one two two and straw one ship one two two. Where are you looking? On high pack uh, with the high pack targets. Oh yeah, got it. I can see it here too. <coughs> and then oh, yeah, yeah, on Rob Nav it says straw uh, one, one two, 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 two T. So my guess is that we are. I guess that straw one twenty twenty two zero two three zero seven <laughs> is probably the right spot because we were offset with the ship 122 and now it's pretty much opposite that so it's probably back to back to normal. correct we might actually go to the yellow line and have it be there no way no way there's no way no way but there might be a way place your bets what are we what are we betting i don't know okay. i don't have any candy otherwise mm. josh <laughs> is gonna sing us another song yeah Josh gives out all the prizes today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just mumble, mumble. Oh, Josh. <laughs> Trevor called me. That's what it takes for him to call me. <laughs> you never call. You never write. <laughs> just dig you up in the. We were also phone. calculating how many push-ups you owe. Buddy, it's up there. Well, I'm thinking that Ray and I, on the last day, just in front of everybody on the back deck, can just start, just do as many as we can and see how, see who can do more. <laughs> no. Don't go through the vehicle. So majestic. <laughs> There's this butthole. Looks like a cyclops. <laughs> yeah. That's not its eye. <laughs> it's it looks like. <laughs> that's not the butthole, that's its mouth. The butthole's on the other end. Really? <laughs> Oh, I'm learning. Thank you. It's not the same hole? No. <laughs> Maybe for you. <laughs> Sorry, you're just, you're just the butt of all the jokes this morning. I don't know. <laughs> sea cucumbers <laughs> breathe <laughs> and poop out of the same hole, so. Is that a banana? Yeah. Kind of looks nice. like one. No. <laughs> uh, almost. Yeah. Nobody knows. <laughs> oh, we're getting there. Oh. Is that it? Is that the morning? Ooh, could be. Something. Yeah. 100 could meters be. away. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. We might see those train wheels in Sonar, too. Maybe not in Atalantis, but yeah. in, in uh, the Sea King, we should see the uh, Straw 2 yeah. train wheels at some point. How far away do you think we are from that waypoint, Megan? Is that 50 meters on Ravnev? Oh, uh, from here... We are 60 meters away. And that was uh, to straw two. Or yeah, I straw, straw one, one two, 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 T. That's probably straw one if they were there earlier. Uh, they had no reason to go to straw two. Oh, that's one, two, two. So that's going to be not where we're going. We're probably going to the other one. Oh, yeah. The other straw is a little bit further. It should be down here somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, whatever. Popping balloons already? Oh, right, I was late. <laughs> <coughs> I need a little heading change there, don't I? For that one. How's the ship move doing? Uh, we're getting finished with our move. Roger. I'm gonna put these back down to a reasonable amount. I think the next step will be south. Yeah.
So there's nothing else around us now, is there? Really? Correct. Yeah. There's some three there's, meter tall stuff. Yeah. And a bunch of low, yeah, a bunch of low junk, but nothing tangly. Yeah. Gone. <laughs> Just like that, it was gone. Here's one. Yeah. That looks right on your nav too. I think it's that's going to be your train wheel from yeah. straw one. That's oh, okay. going to be the 2018-06 one. The one that came up this morning. Yesterday, yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. yeah. You know sometime. that that time. Yes or no. <laughs> the last Dave. time it was daylight. In the, yeah, last time it was daylight in the morning. Yeah. That time. <laughs> <laughs> The last time I was asleep. <laughs> That's the craziest thing about the four on, eight off shifts is you have no track no, of how many days you've done. You do yeah, so like, many small shifts. It's like yeah. crazy. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, me either. Mm. It's really tough. It's really hard to tell what day it is. Totally, yes. yeah. You get so disoriented. Too easily confused anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. Steady. About myself is what I'm saying. Ah, okay. That's fine. <laughs> Steady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I suppose we should check that guy out. I'll spin my head around too. Can you put a south step move ship step words? 20 meters south. Thank you. Bridge now. South step move. Come on, Trev. <laughs> <laughs> Figure it Can out. we move 20 meters south, please? Trevor, you're here, and apparently that's all that it takes. <laughs> yeah. That's, <laughs> that's all I got to do for my job is show up. Do. Show up. It's you're a step ahead of Josh. <laughs> I was going to say, I feel like that was a subtle dig at Josh. <laughs> I didn't feel like it was so subtle. <laughs> <laughs> question is how much I got to pay y'all to keep quiet. <laughs> Push-ups. <laughs> you got Just any snacks? <laughs> yeah. Snacks or shups. Snacks. That's all you got. Snacks Apparently shups. snacks are currency right now. Yep. The snack we're, game is getting yeah. low. Uh, even the ROV I've shops. never heard <laughs> of the snack game. Never heard push-ups shortened to shups before. <laughs> shups? <laughs> oh, no. Bro, did so many shups yesterday. <laughs> Phone swap go well? Work? Yeah. Happy? Yeah. yeah. Happy? Cool. Without, yeah. Without good. fail, sounds like. Good, good. Without fail. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go have a look and make sure that is a train wheel? Probably should, yeah. I like okay. it. Okay, let's do that. Might as well. <laughs> if we can get there on our tether, then it'll also act as a little mini cable survey for the one we're going to be recovering. Cable survey. Can't win. Cheers, mate. Night, Megan. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Yep. Good morning. Good How are you? <laughs> Bright tailed and bushy eyed. What a concept. <laughs> okay, show off. <laughs> I think I'm seeing the actual mooring 80 meters from Atalanta. That'd be about right. Yeah. <clears throat> What's the Sea King grid set at? 50 meters total, so the the target is 25 away. Okay. 
And we're heading that way now with the ship too. Yeah. Nice. Good morning, Lynette. How are you doing? Yeah, good morning. Good morning. I'm good. Cool. How you get you? spun up on uh, what the story is here? We are heading back to the mooring. Yes. We're going to pick up a cable. Eventually. We are going to cut the mooring uh, free. That's the last step. Yep. And then we're going to get out of there. Yeah. <laughs> so, ship change we heading by 180 degrees. Cool. Based on where we want to bug out after the moorings released. Okay. So, all uh, the waypoints are wrong. Sean should have Excellent. those. Yep. So, so good luck with that. You. Sean, cool. can you help? Um, we got uh, we're probably coming up to the first the train wheel right ahead, ahead of us in this sonar here. The half right. as well. Sweet. And that's going to be the point. straw yeah. two, okay. whatever's. And then it looks like we're seeing some Atlanta targets up there. Those are probably yeah, straw one, get, which is what I we're actually trying to stamps. release. Okay. All right. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I'll get those for you. <coughs> Has the ship finished that move that it was on? Yeah, the ship is not moving. But we could do another one? Yeah, we need no. another 20 meters. 20 yeah. meters yeah. South. south. Yeah. Yes, please. Bridge now. They're doing their handover too. Good morning. Can we have two zero meters south, please? Medusa. Is going uh, uh, offline for a minute and changing watch. Okay. Thanks, Pete. Thank you. Thank you, Pete. How are we doing? You've never seen so many layers? Yeah, like worn inside a temperature controlled room. <laughs> That's exactly you like it. A, you have an Arctic jacket. <laughs> it is the Arctic in here. It's quite the contrast. Yeah. T-shirt. Sean's here in beach attire. Yeah. <laughs> Deck pants and T-shirt. I wish we had red lights in our rooms. There it is. Sea stars. Train wheel. Connector. No mooring. Where'd the mooring go? Okay. All right, so we can follow this cable to the southeast, and that'll give us a really nice heading on that mooring. The cable actually is going to probably dip really far to the... Well, well yeah, might more. not take us exactly there. Yeah, I think I'll just... Can you open the sonar back out to 50, please, mate? I think we should just follow a sonar target instead yeah. of going all the way around. 100%. Especially because that cable looks buried. Yep. All right, I've got it on the nose right now for out Atlanta, so... Lynette, could you please drop a waypoint if you haven't already? That's sure it. can. That way we know where we want to be over when we back up and off. Uh, 
don't think the ship's planning any more hitting changes between now you and... Swing? Are you going to swing out Atlanta round at all? Uh, you mean like tail to tail? No. Or what, are you, what do you mean? I don't know. It just feels like it's really hard to keep my heading. Oh, I mean, we're, we're strung tight. I can come uh, down on Delta a bit, but... Ship's still moving south, or yeah. Atlanta's still uh, swinging south, I should say. Still swinging that way, yeah. Yeah. How far is that? That's not so far, actually. No, it's only about 30 meters. Yeah, the distance between them should be 40 meters in our books. All right, I'm going to hang out five minutes, just let everything come together. Good morning, Jacob. Oh, it doesn't have a set sound yet. I said, good morning, Jacob. Good morning. <laughs> he didn't have his headset on. I did not yet, no. How's everyone doing? Morning. Hey, good We're morning, Jacob. Much better than Josh. Good morning. <laughs> What happened to Josh? It is a morning, morning. day. Yeah. Good morning, morning. Let's just say he's not a morning morning. morning. <laughs> <laughs> the traditional greeting, good morning on morning days. Mm -hmm. Megan was so proud of herself for saying that on the first morning day. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't? She was just glowing. She came mm. up, good morning. <laughs> Never seen her so excited. <laughs> <laughs> You have yet to see her. You need to. I've found the keys to her heart with all my snacks. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Snacks, Whoa. eh? That's the yes. way. Cool. That's a good, yeah. that's a good tip. Swimming sea cucumber. Except I think snacks will get you into pretty much everyone's good books at this stage in the cruise. See, that's the key. Yeah. That's exactly it. Lynette, can we please have a DVL reset? Sure can. You can still see the cable in our like Thank bio you. box cam there. <coughs> yes, indeed. Tina four. Oh yeah. I think we're gonna want a. Hmm. We might want a west ship move. Let's we'll see how it goes. West. You think you have enough? Not weather? yet. Not yet. Okay. I think the sh the headland is going to get a little swung in there. We'll see how it goes. Okay. We got some stuff to do with the mooring anyway, so not a big deal. So we have a beacon on it yet? No, beacon no. is in the bio box currently. Okay. Bio box beacon. The Hawaiian word for a sea cucumber is loli. Loli. Mm -hmm. Like a lollipop. Yeah. Delicious. Trevor I thought you were going to tell us the Hawaiian word for bio box beacon. Pahu is the name for box. Okay. Bio pahu. Yeah. Beacon. <laughs> bio beacon? Pahu beacon. Mm. Want to range this down? Yeah. Coming in. What range was it on? 5 0 right now. Okay. Hey, AJ, uh, do we happen to know the number on that? Let's see, beacon? is this 20? There you go, 20 meter range, 15 meters to target. The number on what, Lynette? The beacon. The beacon. Oh, uh, it was the same that was used last dive. Is that 2407? 2406. Or 26? 2406. I took a photo, a photo of it. Yeah. Okay. I also have a photo of it being on. <laughs> it's one of those things that keeps you up at night, you know? Like, did yeah. I actually do it? Yeah. I means on. They should make those beacons with like an automatic turn on and water switch. The other ones are. The uh, ones on Hurricane Atlanta are. Oh yeah, that's nice. Gotta pay the big bucks for that kind of service. I think you have some like that too. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sure. Yep. Mm 
I'm never going to be able to hold heading now, though. Are we fighting it? you got to come uh, north anyway. To port? Here's the cable. Yeah. Can't, can't get too lost. Is that Straw 2's cable? Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. No matter what you do. Just the birds. Dave, I don't hear you on comms. Just a heads up. Yeah, it's because I've muted myself a bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's your, that's your mooring yeah, off that's left it. there. Yep. Didn't make it. We. There's that loop. That AJ was talking about. Cool. We're and inside. there's the mooring. Found it. So. So that cable, yeah, <laughs> perfect. We're going to want to clear that cable to the right. Well, I guess we're going to we're going to be hanging on to that connector. Yeah, so we'll at some point get we'll get the beacon and the oilies hung up on the mooring. Yep. We'll put that parking position in the Fletcher. Yep. We'll hydraulic cut the thing and then we'll lift off. You got it. I got it. I'll go I'll go back to sleep, thanks. Okay. Just let everything settle out and see how we sit here, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Once you get around the proper side, I'll probably stop pulling you. Yeah. It says yellow, but it has a blue strap. Bit of a, bit of a it's just a mystery. Do you ever figure out what the colors meant? No, I mean, I think they just label, that's how, that's the terminology they use to differentiate their instruments. Roger. So they. Someone go on the yellow, someone go on the blue. Well, I noticed the instruments themselves had like Table. blue yeah. labeling yeah. on the last one. Yeah. So maybe there's yellow labeling I on this. Guarantee you there is. Yeah. But it's a bit confusing because then these got deployed in a certain order, so we started calling them straw one and two, and then there's a subsequent project that got called straw B, but this one was never named straw A. So the whole thing is a real mess, but luckily it'll be out of the water and we'll never have to worry about it again. Yeah, it'll be a lot easier to keep track of all a 70 of the new ones. to keep track of these straw when we Straw one through 70. Okay, so first step is get the uh, dangly oilies up and the beacon on. I yes. guess oh, beacon on first, probably. Beacon on first, yeah, because. Ah, uh, yeah, just wait a minute. Unless, ooh, boop, boop, boop. Did the beacon get in our way yesterday when we were trying to clear the oilies? It did not. Okay. We can <coughs> put the oily in somewhere, see it first if you prefer. Because then maybe choice. clipping the beacon on might kind of hold the oily into some position that makes it more ideal. Yeah, or put the beacon up like right. six feet above everything so it doesn't interfere at all. Could, yeah. It's, uh, we're on your dime, AJ. It doesn't affect ROV safety, so it's up to you. Yeah. Um, I think we should just try to get the oilies through oilies like we first. did yesterday. Roger that. And then we can clip the beacon on, hopefully not knock them off. I like that order. Awesome. Sounds good. Uh, let's see here. So... You're good to go if you want. I can't reach them from here. What? I can't reach the oilies from here. What, that, that one? That one we're picking up last. We'll put that in the Fletcher at the very end. Ah. Uh, okay, right. My bad. But my Telestrator lives forever. Lynette, can we step the ship, uh, southwest 225, please? Maybe... Uh, let's just do 10 meters. Sure. Thank you. Bridge now. 
Can we have right, one we zero meters two two five, please? Thank you. This isn't making any sense. Cool looking tornado in that starboard cam. Yeah. Hmm. All right, so we need to grab that one and and bring it up. Yep. That up. I think there's two of them. There are right, two of them. Okay. Video, can you come super duper double extra wide, please, on Herxus? Thank you. Just wanted to see what's going on. Uh, I'm going to get the camera switched around here. Stand by on that. And then I'm going to get the manip just oh, out course. but tucked in. Up oh, there. Yeah. Grab it and come round and up. Halted there. Yeah. <coughs> come on. You might come off. That's kind of what I'm hoping. Yeah. The old mud, sticky mud patience. Yeah. You ever use the heading change trick? Where you're stuck in the mud, you just yeah. change your heading and then it comes up? Give it a quick. Maybe. <laughs> Not in this stuff. No. Never mind. Maybe it's mushroom cloud time. <laughs> nah. Maybe a small one. Yeah. Oh. than we were yesterday, that's for sure. Cutter cable was dangling low too. Roger. I just noticed that. <coughs> it came off. Roger that. So I guess grab the close one first or the far one first? I'm um, Matter to me. It doesn't really matter. Snag's going to be seeing any of it. <laughs> Perfect. Looks like the oily from the close one might be more in your way, so if you get that one out of the way, it might be easier to do the far one. Okay. Hey, Dave, what do you think about just going up a little bit? We can take a look at where we actually want to put them, just while we're waiting for the dust. I was going to lift and fold, stuff just it straight up there. in there somewhere. Yeah, Cause right, because we get it. I don't think it's going to get much higher. All right. There is that other little trapezoid doodger. Yeah. Last time we did go up and over. But yeah, but... Yeah, not going up to this junction box or whatever. I mean... Right, I'm just going to back off. Yeah, totally. There's too much shit coming off the bottom of the sub. Yeah, we'll just let it clear. Agreed.
just close the range down, mate. Yeah. You want 10 meters? Yeah, please. 10 meters. Uh, I yeah. don't think we've got the same sort of reach that we had with the other one because it comes out round the front and goes back in through here. Yeah. yeah, well, I guess we'll uh, have to see how it goes if it's a bit shorter than it. It should be sufficient to get it through down here. I think the reason we put it yeah. up higher before was because it was so long. Yeah. Yeah. That it wasn't quite clearing it, so shouldn't be a problem. Unless you want to pull it through. I think I'll just pick it up and throw it through whatever it sticks to. It should be fine. Yeah, yeah. Well, I like that. Can we make this faster? No, it's okay. Okay. Cool, looks like it's cleared up a bit down there anyway. Yep. <coughs> So you see what I mean? It goes around the oh, it goes, side yeah. and then it comes through and up. Yeah. So if we just hang it right there. Yeah. On that first level. Yeah. See how it goes? See what you're seeing? It's on the far side of that spreader. Yeah. I can bring the arm pretty low, so you shouldn't have to land. Okay. I'm good there if you're good. Yep, go for it, mate. Maybe I'll bring it this way. that silly little handle on it. 
Yeah. Happy there, AJ? Yes, I think that's great. I think we'll also be on the other side when we cut this, so uh, extra safety. Where are we right now? We're on the other It's really hard to tell. We'll be 90 degrees out. With those seats, snail drills. We'll be approaching facing this way. Yeah. You'll have to be somewhat square to both of those lines to get the hydraulic cutter on it, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll be. Define square we'll on be the circle. This, yeah, we'll be this, this square. <laughs> okay. We'll try to line the two up in uh, in line with the camera so you can't see the far one, so it's a blind cut. Yeah, the cable runs off that way, though, so we won't be cutting it from this side. Is uh, what I'm saying. The cable goes, whoop, it goes out and then loops around right back right. this way. Yeah. So. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Okay, coming down for that one. Roger. Anytime you're ready. Okay. I think I'm a little far still. Yeah, are you going for the Fletcher itself? Yeah. Yeah. I could bring this towards us, actually. There you go. Raise up a bunch of mud so I can't see and then try. Yeah. Just uh, I don't think I can get yeah, that, really maybe? About down there. Yeah, as much as possible. There you oh, go. I to get it. Okay. Okay, actually, it's been unplugged for all of... Wow. A couple hours. <laughs> well, I was, that was probably just me stuffing that yeah. in. Yeah. It'll be clean by the time it gets to the surface. Oh, yeah, yeah exactly. Well. Ready for a reconnection. All right. Yes. Good stuff. Nice. Yeah, there go. yeah that's wonderful. Okay, so next step is... Beacon. Beacon, right. Okay. Okay, I'm going to change some cameras around, and you can get away from the mooring wherever you're comfortable. Yep. And I need to take a bubble. <gasps> Back around, safe side. Okay, roger that. I'm gonna start swinging around the side, if you're good with that. Yeah, go for it. Do you can do whatever you need, mate. Okay. Yeah, I can get all this stuff if you just focus on not wrapping us. Yep. Okay, we're good here. Roger that. That's a precarious grip. Yeah, it's super bad. Do better. Hmm. That's medium better. There we go. Yeah. This is what I want. Come on. Oh, really? Come on. Okay. Let me just clip it to various parts of the vehicle in the meantime. All right. Yep. Closing. Okay. That's a better grip. Okay, I'm gonna switch cameras around. Yep. Uh, you you, can I get a little bit of zoom in, please, just to we'll do that. take that. Out. Yep. Right there. I can. <coughs> we can come up if we want to get away from the mess of the connectors, or we can go. So we can go right in where those connectors are. Top uh, of the J box makes sense. Yeah. Above. Yeah. Up there up should here. be a cross member up above. That sounds perfect. I'll come back around here somewhere. Not this one, I want a higher one than that. Roger. Uh, looks like it's right here. Right here. Roger. In there? Yeah. 
Dave, if you're able to, can you come around the other side of it? Yep. I don't know if you do the reverse, reverse grab on. Lynette, can we get 10 meters west, please? Bridge nav. Somewhere here. Yeah, that's great. If you come in there, I'll slap it to that crossbar. Can we have one zero meters Laser west, targeting please? System. Yeah. Pew, pew. Thank you. Can I go there? Yep. Coming in. Uh, does it go along the spreader or does it have to go along the cable? No, on the cable. Oh, okay. Eh, miss. Sure, okay. There we go. Got it. You sure? Yep. Backing out. Yeah, I'm on. Halted. Looks good. All right. All right, now we can get Fletcher. in position for cable cutting. Yeah, yeah Fletchering, so if we can I do it from the same spot. Otherwise, we'll do that first, right? Um, yeah, whichever you're more comfortable with. Yeah, I'd like to get that cable ready to recover. Yeah, roger. Then we'll do the cable, uh, we'll do the hydraulic cutter, then we'll just come right up. So you want to get this cable down here with the... Right there, yeah. yes. And that should be a pretty good alignment to uh, cut as well. Yeah. Once we come around to slide yeah. port a bit. And when we cut, you want to scoot out on the ship's current heading? Yes. Okay. And that'll also take uh, Herc over top of the other end of this oily hose. Okay. We really need to be cutting from here somewhere. Say again? We need to be cutting from here somewhere. Yeah, totally. I think we can see, even if we're lined up with the two cables, I think we can, yeah. if we can't spin the mooring, we can just make it work. The mooring won't spin as well as the RC moorings because it's locked Roger. in position. We'll see how we do. So is this cable, are we moving it away or are we putting it straight in the Fletcher? I think straight in the Fletcher, if you're cool with that. Yep. Okay, so I'll just come in and sit down then. Okay. We might need a shuffle after because of the reach on the cable cutter. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to get this total. pick it up if you want then. Sure, yeah. I'll get this. Eh, come on. Uh, let's set the camera up first. Then you can pick it up and go straight to get it in there. Roger that. Come on, come down. <laughs> Doesn't do anything in a hurry. No. I can, you fly and I'll, I'll tilt the camera. Yeah. Uh, tilt it down. A little bit more. That's probably fine there. Yeah, that'll work. Down. You can go for it whenever you see it. Whenever you're Roger. Ready. I'll grab it, get it up on the porch, and then probably re-grab it. We'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to re-grab, unfortunately. Maybe schmear. I'm gonna We're shake this off. It's gonna make a mess anyway. Might as well do it all yeah. at once. But do it down there. I'll come up. A yeah, touch. totally. Okay, go for it. Okay, maybe I can just do it. We'll see. 
quick block. Or do you want me to swing around and pull the cable away? That might be wise, yeah. And reapproach. Suppose it doesn't hurt. Hmm. Not my schmeriest work. I'm gonna let go here for a sec. I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> drop it in the mud again. Is yeah, that's right. what I said. There right? you go. I can stay right about here somewhere. <laughs> Come back. I'll get it. Stay nice with catch. me. <laughs> okay, pucks it is. Roger. Yeah, this will fit. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh. What a disaster. Oh. I wonder if it was maybe not clipped in fully. Maybe. Yeah. Count the bean. It seemed like that came out awfully easy. I was set up. Yeah. Right. Sorry, man. Well, I gotta make sure I get the video. Yeah, do what you gotta first. do. Yeah. You got that? I got that, yeah. They set me up. Well, I also dropped it forty eight times, so But I like passing blame off to the other shift. If it was only half in though, better we find out now than when we're recovering. Right, I did that for you, AJ. Yeah, thank yeah. you, Trevor. Yeah. Always appreciate it. Yeah. And you guys are always bugging us about chamfered edges. Look at that. Look at that. That took you two seconds. Yeah, I did it for you, AJ. <laughs> Why are you putting parking positions on this when we're just bringing it up? Because um, these pins, we don't like leaving pins exposed to seawater for even a few hours and it's been all it's already been down on the seafloor for a few hours really yeah okay or in the mud or anything roger this is on a bit of a slope can't be there's no slopes here it is <laughs> <laughs> that's what you think the flattest of the flat cascadia mm -hmm. basins oh yeah fizz it's just exquisite what idiot dropped a connector in the mud? Oh wait. Hit me. Trevor, don't be so hard on yourself. I'm sure if you let me fly that thing, connectors would be in the mud everywhere. Can I go? Yeah, I'd why not? I'd love to. I would love to. Enough. All right, I maintain that. And once this is in the Fletcher, where are we going? We're gonna go. Let's line up for cuttage. And why did that let go? Okay, these buttons. My gosh. Might have to wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's a, that's a job. I'll place that button. I feel like um, okay, coming in. Dirk okay. could do arm and AJ could be flying. Yeah, we should definitely do that. <laughs> what's like our what's our most throwaway task? Opposite world. The yeah, you guys will be in the back row. We'll give you a dive plan. <laughs> <laughs> I want you guys to put on a CTD like we used to have to, flying, flying. <laughs> Inshore. Yeah, inshore. Inshore. We can't see. Let's go on our way back. We'll yeah. stop oh, at that's Peter. a great grip. We'll yeah, that's fine. That's Santa fine. Yeah. Inlet. With Good one broken minute. In. Yeah. Grip is locked this time for real. Roger. We'll AJ, you should, do the, you should do the verts and the shoulder. And, nice. uh, and Dirk can do the wrist and the uh, horizontal. I, love I would that. love to see them both doing oh the bickering that would nice. go on. Oh that's some mud there, eh? Bunk. I reckon that's in. Right. Where are we going with it? We're gonna go land. Oh yeah, do you wanna pull it back, AJ, or can we just go cut the thing? No, just go cut the thing. Okay. Oh, so we're cutting with this in place. Yes. Okay. I'm and then you're gonna recover with this in place. Okay. Tangly bits everywhere. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Love to see it. Yeah. So we're going to have to do, uh, after the moorings cut, we're going to have to spend 30 seconds to a minute on the floor, seafloor, stow the cutter, and then grab this. 
before actually bugging out. Yeah, when I get down, I want to have a look at me. I need to check my headache bar and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, absolutely. That Take your time. Take, Take your time, set up right. This half is a day by the time the camera gets up there. Half a day, Roger. Uh, why don't, if you're going to tilt your camera up, why don't I grab the cutter right now? Yep, you can do that. So, yeah, this is actually no bad. Just kidding. Oh my gosh. What is going on with these buttons? This is the worst I've ever seen it. Wow. Dreadful. Yeah, I, I was getting frustrated with it yesterday a little bit. Oh, man. Getting worse, eh? It's, it's not getting better. Is that right? Yeah, it's yeah, not great. Good enough. You think so? Yeah, as long as you're locked, it ain't going to go anywhere. Got it. Grip is locked. Okay. Oh my gosh. Every single time it takes four halts. Except for when it takes two or eight. Okay. So Halted. the average? Yeah. Okay, you ready for me to check in with the bridge? Make yeah, sure yeah. Make sure we're thing. allowed and make sure they're ready to put a move in, a track okay. align move. Sure. Bridge nav. We are getting ready to release a mooring from the seafloor. Is that okay with you up there? Okay. Um, and as soon as we release it, we would like to track align forward, 0 0.5 knots. Um, I'll give you a call when we're ready. Thank you. Lynette, are you tracking that other beacon? Yes. Great. Thank you. <coughs> so we'll making sure we're in order of operations mode. We'll cut the far cable. Yeah. We'll stop, take a sec, line up on the close cable. We'll cut the close cable. Lynette will call the ship move in. I'll stow the cutter, grab the orange hose, and then we can bug out. Love it. Okay. A lot of stuff's gonna happen quickly, so just gotta yeah. make sure we're happy. That's uh it's not far away. It isn't far away, no. <laughs> but it should. It should go that way, yeah. Yep. If I cut the far one first. Yep. Yeah, I suppose I I'll cut the far one and then we'll double check, make yeah, sure we're yeah, still happy. We'll check it again, yeah. Okay, great. Medium, medium bad, instead of completely bad. That's all right. Okay, I'll come down and follow you up. Okay. Can you uncut? Yeah. Come on, stop, halt, please. There we go. Okay, that's all the way back. Okay. Uh, let me think about this. I want to go like this. All the way in. Okay, yeah, all the way in. Happy. Happy. Cutting. Cutting. Boom. Okay. I'm gonna get um, out of. I'm gonna get out of there, and then we're gonna to. reassess. Yeah, it's good. Coming up. Okay. Can you get? in there while this is still up here. Can you see that on the bubble well enough? Uh, let me find out. I think I got, I got pilot cam too, so should be okay. Because yeah. I think if you get it in the cutter and push away a bit and push it away. Yeah, Roger. Before you cut. Understood. Eh. Hold on. 
I can do it. I can come back down so you can see You're properly. You're good. You're good. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I'm pretty. Um, uh, let me get it deeper in the throat there. Okay. Uh, I'm happy if you're happy. What do you reckon? Does that look like it's touching the brow? No. It's right. Oh no. Okay. It's not. I'm, I was thinking right here, but it's not. That's not touching. No. It's it's the, the connectors, connectors underneath that I'm a bit more worried about. I think we're. Yeah. It looks ooh. to me like they're gonna miss the try. -tech. I think it's gonna miss it. I think we're good. Yeah. 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 Ready? I'm. Let me think about this again. Again, we got a couple things to do. When you cut, as soon as it's cut, I'm going to stow the connect, stow the thing, yeah. grab the orange hose, and then we'll come up. And Lynette, you can call a ship move as soon as that thing is released. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Cut in. Okay. It's free. Yeah, it's clear. Bridge now. Eleven forty-four. Okay. Boring yeah. is released. Can we track a line forward 0.5 knots, please? Thank you. Still coming. Still coming. Ah, what? No, I want this one. Let go. Let go. Do you want to get Magnum? Why is this? Uh, let me think about that. We can get Magnum on the way up. Yep. All right, I'm going to back away first because oh, we're come on. here. Just let me know when you're happy. I'm never happy, Dave, apparently. I'm showing the mooring 100 meters above Atalanta now. Thank you. Marvelous, yeah. thank you. Okay, I am halted. Arm is good. We'll okay. get the Magnum on as we go. Um, I'm going to turn Atalanta to recovery heading. All right, up and follow this cable, yeah? Yes, and you can stay facing this, heading this way. Yep. And just back cool. towards. We yeah, have a waypoint on ROV nav. Yeah, the cable will be fine. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Just go with the ship oh, and Atalanta. Just come straight up? Yeah. All right, cool. Coming up. I'll bring that back down so we can start setting Mongo up. Yeah, cool. Um, okay, Atalanta's in recovery heading. Ooh. What do you got? A rat tail. Oh. Ship is moving. All right. Delta. Look at this thing coming up. Yeah, I'll if get, you want I'll get. With Mango, I'll get. I've got this. Well, I'm not worried about that yet. That's not going to fly off. Okay. Before the interface, for sure, but. Yeah. I'll stretch out over the top now because we're coming level. Great. Ship's on the move at half a knot, so it's going to pull us away anyway. Yeah. Oh, that's way too fast. There we go. We're taking this cable home with us. Cable's Thanks coming home. How long is it? 70 meters. Seven zero? Yep. Okay. Okay, getting Magnum out now. Yep.
I'll just throw you that in a bit. Yeah, roger that. Not yeah. But it is the ship pointed into the weather right now? What weather? What weather? <laughs> Any weather? Halted. No, no weather, buddy. No weather, beauty. Um, that was late, but if anybody is watching at home, that was literally textbook ROV operations or something like that. And most of that is strong communication between the ROV team and yeah. Well, that was awesome, guys. Really well done. Thanks, Josh. And I'm not saying that to get out of push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, you're still in big shop debt. And you have like 30 minutes worth of push-ups to do. Uh, if I want to break four o'clock. I'm good for nine minutes. Thank you. Still got coffee here, so. I'm good, Mitt. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm good. Thank you. May I ask a question, mainly for Sean? Yeah, go ahead. What are the moorings for? The moorings? Um, so they were straw A, straw B. Uh, straw 1 and 2 were part of straw A. These were um, moorings designed to basically, long story short, look at like subatomic particles under the water. So looking at things like neutrinos and uh, yeah, their presence at this location. So it's How basically far are we like a, right now? an observatory underwater. Yeah. Uh, ship to mooring. Thank you. Once we're over 250, 300 meters, let's stop the ship.
bridge nav. Can we hold position, please? Thank you. Okay, mooring is a thousand meters above you and 250 meters from the ship. Thank you. Yep. Zoom in. Out. Yeah. The ship is yonder. Yep. Yeah. Bridge nav. We're coming up with the vehicles expecting a recovery time around two hours. Thanks. What is that? Outside. Okay. Does anybody know how to get that nav screen over here? Can I do that? Is that a thing? Jacob? Potentially. Potentially. I love it. Do you know the name for that monitor? Uh, the name for the one I want or the name f oh, the name for the monitor? It yeah. says view, view on it. Okay. Give me a minute. Roger. 
The monitors will either say view or control. Oh. Do you have a button that says like mon left? I have, I don't know, there's so many buttons. Captain button. Oh, mon left like that one? What, I don't know how I, what's the order of button mon, pressing? Mon left, rov nav. Mon left. Oh, yeah. Just really be high-fiving with that, but, you know. Great job, me and Jacob. <laughs> yeah, we both learned. We're learning. How many arms does Hercules have? Dos. Dos. Two arms, but they're different types of arms. And because we have 18 hours to come up, I'm going to regale everyone with the, the tale of the two arms. <laughs> Tale of the two arms. One arm, or in ROV terms, manipulator, uh, is called a, well, I, I refer to it as a rate function arm, which means every function, as in the shoulder up and down, shoulder left and right, elbow up and down, wrist up and down, left and right, jaw open and close, are all activated via buttons. And they only move at a single rate of speed that we set on the surface. Uh, that cannot be changed. And we can only move one function at a time. They are simpler, more generally more robust type arms. They do not have any electronics inside of them. They are uh, simply driven by hydraulic cylinders. Um, it makes them... Uh, very useful sh for certain tasks, but not as good at uh, at others, like the Craft Predator, which is has a few different types of names. Um, I call it an SC arm, which stands for Servo Controlled. A servo is a type of valve. A servo valve is is um, uh, an intricate designed expensive uh, hydraulic valve that is driven by um, very small voltage changes which allows it to uh, <coughs> uh, operate the the hydraulic cylinders very precisely on arms like this which means basically that um, we can move several functions at once and the way we operate that is not with buttons but by what we call a mini master which is Basically, a miniature version of the manipulator uh, with a whole bunch of electronics inside and a CPU that, that talks through the ROV umbilical to the slave or the, um, there's another word for it that we've been using these days, uh, anyways, manipulator on the, on the ROV. So when you move the mini master into a position, the arm follows it almost without any lag, milliseconds of lag immediately. And so it copies what you do. So you have to move the arm uh, as you would like it. Um, and they are much more, they have electronics inside the arms. Uh, they're much more intricate, expensive, um, harder to uh, maintain, but they are much better at tasks like plugging and unplugging ODI connectors, sorting out cables. Um, they're just much more advanced. Um, harder to use, but once you get used to using one, you know, actually easier to use. And then uh, give you the ability to do much more complicated tasks and move faster. Generally, you don't set your rate arms to a, a super fast speed because you don't want to damage anything with them. So you set them to a, a fairly slow speed to keep it safe and, and make sure you can line up your movements easy because you can't change the speed. Uh, and how was that, Malina? That sounds pretty good. Beautiful. Yeah, it sounded great. Nobody knows if any of it's right. But. Well, I don't know if it's right. <clears throat> I was actually wondering if you notice any lag between, um, like, what you're doing with the 
I guess, uh, manipulator and yep. like what you're seeing on screen. Is there a noticeable lag? You mean the Mini that? Master? Like, does this, the, or either one? Like, I, I know you were describing there was milliseconds of lag between what you're actually doing on the Mini Master mm -hmm. and what's actually happening on the arm. But as for like Lag of seeing it, yeah. like screen time latency, do you notice? So also milliseconds, if if not microseconds. Um, so ROVs use fiber optics through their tethers, um, or umbilicals, I should say. Uh, f fiber optics allow us to use light to communicate. And I, as most people know, the speed of light uh, is uh, super Pretty duper fast. super super fast. So communications, uh, thanks to fiber optics, uh, have basically no latency um, or very minimal. Uh, without fiber optics, uh, you know, very deep diving vehicles like this one with seven thousand meter long umbilicals, um, it would it would be. It's a challenge. I just did a telemetry system for a 2,000 foot long umbilical that did not have any fiber optics in it that uses copper still. Oh. Twisted pairs and things like that. Um, and to be honest, uh, it's still impressive the, that it's not that, that you don't see too much latency, but you definitely, it's, you know, compared to this, you, you notice. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, the video signal back to us has less latency than the commands going down to the arm because video signal doesn't need any computing. It just okay. comes up. Um, yeah. the, the commands to the arm, you need the computer in the arm has to see what you're doing with this, then translate it to a signal sent down and then and the bottom side computer or electronics need to translate that back to what the arm needs to do. Now it all happens lightning fast. So electronic signals are almost, to be honest, I don't know the exact speed of them, but they, you know, to the naked eye, they're, they seem as fast as the speed of light. They're not quite. But. Thanks, Josh. Anything for you <laughs> and Mel and I. And that was my, I don't know, 10 minutes of professionalism in three weeks. Thank you. You reached your quota already? Yeah, oh, I uh, tripled it. <laughs> so the key to professionalism is show up late, and then you hit it. Then feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's enough to be professional. <laughs> Everybody, that's the key to professionalism. <laughs> A wizard is never late. He arrives precisely when he means to. Aye, aye, Captain. I said wizard. I know. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was Dumbledore, probably. Uh, no. That, that one was Gandalf. Gandalf. I nice know try. that. I know that. I'm just joking. Oh, he got yeah. us. He yeah. got us. He got us. He got us. Oh, he got our nerd, inner nerd, to be like, <laughs> no, that was Gandalf. <laughs> oh, I'm ashamed. So the other day I was talking about the differences between voyaging on a canoe traditionally to a certain degree versus voyaging on a vessel like the one we're on right now. So I have a bunch of crew members out in the middle of the sea right now in the South Pacific who are in the middle, they're in the middle of a bunch of weather. And I guess the biggest difference here is that we run away from weather and we have the ability to run away from weather, whereas they are stuck in it. That sounds uh, unpleasant. Mm -hmm. I've been getting a lot of words from my, my captain at home that we have to send them better weather to find shelter. So their, their aim is to get to Rarotonga or the Cook Islands, and um, they're actually near an island called Swaro. So they're actually like, so Samoa is north of Rarotonga and they've, the canoe has ended up farther north than Samoa due to the weather. Hmm. So they're being pushed farther, pushed or, farther away from their destination. Oh. So. 
What's north of that? Um, the equator. So, no islands. Uh, I let me look. Let me look deeper into this. I'm gonna dig around a they, little they bit. They can't. F they can't find refuge at like some other island. The nearest yeah, island is Swaro, but yeah. I'm gonna look right now. Maps. I know there's an island called Palmerston, but I think they've traveled farther away from Palmerston. I see. Seems like the mooring might be surfaced, eh? Yeah, I think so. That seems about the right length. 129 meters, yeah. still pretty dark out. I doubt anyone would be able to find that. That's what I'm thinking. bridge now. Um, it looks like the mooring has surfaced. I dropped a target in high pack um, for where it is, but I'm suspecting it's still too dark outside to really see anything. Thanks. Correct. Yep. Just, just wanted to give you a heads up. Yep. You're welcome. This is your, uh, your, your jams, Leonard? Oh, uh, you're speaking my language. Dave, is this the, I don't know, I think we can talk about this on comms, so I can go off if you want. 
Is this the, the, I was talking to somebody about this thing you sent me? Yeah. About, it's basically synthetic, like they, they manufacture it, right? Like out of, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was talking. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I got a guy's card uh, in Vancouver at a social ocean thing and they were saying, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's like a new, they, they, instead of, it's yeah. really, it's much better, it's better for the equipment and it's cheaper and it's better for the environment. Biodegradable, yeah. 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 Then they just manufacture. There's that of the heat transfer side of it that interested me. Yeah, that's that's what he said. He's like way better. Yeah. New properties, but I wonder if um, I'm sure I'd love to have. find out what it'll do to seals and like yeah. O-rings, that kind of thing. Yeah, I'm pr I'd be pretty skeptical at first, to, you know, but. Yeah, there's most things I've come across so far that are like that tend to eat all your O-rings and yeah, cost you more in downtime. Yeah, I wonder. Um, I wonder if it's like, you know, I, ROV is a big, big deal, but how much, you know, ships and stuff. I, I wonder if they've, they're using it for bigger stuff like that. Yeah. Interest, but it'd be good to find out for sure. Yeah, I don't know. If I talk to this guy and find anything more out, I'll send you his info. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be appreciated, mate. Mm -hmm. Sean, we're mapping? Sorry? We're going to go map after we recover the morning? Yeah, I think so. Uh, so that's going to be 13 hours of mapping or something like that. That sounds so much like nap. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, in ROV <laughs> well, language, that's like napping. Equivalent, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but the, the point behind that is I believe we're, we're going over potential paths for new cable lays so um, yeah we'll try to map the seafloor as best we can to figure out what's down there uh, oh it's for you guys it's not a DFO thing yeah cool the weather's amazing at the minute too so you're going to get great data yeah it'll be nice um, and then after that I think we're just well it's kind of on the on the way but we'll be jogging up to uh, Barkley upper slope and Barkley Hydrates, I think we're, the KFC bucket didn't do so well, so we're gonna try to re retrieve it. Um, yeah. Yeah, just a Just a quick in and out. Uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, we'll, um, yeah, we'll, we'll try again next time, but um, yeah, it happens. And then, yeah. We'll do an upper slope dive, which will be pretty involved. There will be a lot of instrument swaps. But I think that will be the uh, probably the last major dive. Roger. Well, you know, you don't want to have a perfect cruise. It just sets a precedent. <laughs> yeah. Expectations. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, I mean... That's why we're not perfect, because then we'd have to do it all the time. Uh, I am perfect, you know but I, I mean? dumb myself down to make sure that nobody knows. Okay, yeah, that, that sort of makes sense. It's like a break check. From my limited uh, experience of trips on the Nautilus, this has gone pretty swimmingly. I mean, my only other trip was in 2021, and some may know how that one ended. We weren't here for that one, were we? Yeah. Uh, no, I've never ever yeah. lost an ROV or had one go missing for over two weeks and sail down to the coast of Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> What's the KFC bucket? A bucket it's of KFC. A, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's just the a family our package pet you name. get on Saturday nights with your family. It's our pet name for uh, the Imaginix sonar, uh, which is kind of an upward-facing uh, sound-based device that's trying to basically detect bubbles. It's, but yeah, it's, it's just called a KFC bucket because yeah. there's a KFC sticker well, on it. 
Uh, it's it in some looks housing. Like, it looks a lot like one. It, it does. Yeah. And it was actually first a chicken bucket, and then a KFC sticker got slapped onto it. Slapped right on. Yeah. They're like, yeah. oh, now it's... That one's like... We can't not say it's the, the chicken bucket now. That's, that's not even a... It's not even a family pack. That thing's huge. It's like a, yeah. it's like a family reunion. It's a crew pack. pack. Yes. A crew pack. Definitely like crew the pack wedding, for wedding reception oh, wedding pack. Wedding reception pack. <laughs> yeah. I, if I ever get married, I'm having KFC. <laughs> You're going to get that chicken bucket. We're going to get that bucket. <laughs> we're going to go because they're going to the bottom of the ocean in a couple of days to go and like grab it. There. Yeah. And we're all going to eat chicken and then at the bottom there's a sonar. What's this? Well, it's just my wedding sonar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wedding pack. <laughs> uh, actually, one of the best ideas at any wedding is at around 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. have either, and pizza is the best, get, but like get pizza delivered because everybody eats it. At a lot of weddings, anyways, you eat around six, seven, maybe eight, even. Yeah. But then you're, you know, you're drinking and you're dancing, and when that pizza comes at one a.m., oh, hits. It's, yeah. It's, it's heaven sent. Or KFC could work too, but that's that's a little. I just I, don't, I went to a <laughs> yeah. wedding last year, one of my best friends, and uh, he he loves ribs, and everybody's oh, no. like, but at a wedding. We yeah. gotta do ribs, and he's like, "No, we're do. I'm. I don't care about everybody's nice clothes. <laughs> we're yeah. doing ribs. Doing right. ribs. Okay. Got what he wanted. Yeah. Hope he at least provided toothpicks. Not even napkins. Oh wow! <laughs> Just <laughs> going right in. No cutlery. No bibs. No bibs. No oh, napkins. man. <laughs> 